I just pendulum abdicate someone right now against the Nibiru. I got Nibiru. He nibiru me. He nibiru me. He nibiru me. But guess what? He nibiru me. I still FTK'd him into oblivion. You think Nibiru is all he had too? Someone just nibiru me and maxied me. You want to know what I told him? How about you maximize on some bitches because you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not enough against the best deck, baby. Max out on your deadlift, baby. Because it's not enough against the best deck. It is not enough against the best deck. Maxi Nibiru. No, 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 no. This is Pendulum FTK through any hand trap. It doesn't matter how many hand traps you have. It will not be enough against the Pendulum FTK. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys right now how to Pendulum FTK through every hand trap in the game, baby. So if you guys want to play the Pendulum first turn kill, this is it. This is it. I'm going to showcase you guys how to FTK through every single hand trap in the game. Nothing will stop us. So if you guys are ready for this video, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button? Why don't you guys smash the like button? And lastly, go check out the Patreon down below because on Patreon, you guys can learn how to do this every single day, baby. Training videos every single day. Go check that out right now. Also, go check out www.tripgaming.com for the greatest comments in the game. And let's get started on the absolute pendulum domination. Let's go. Now, I will be showcasing the deck list at the end of this video, as well as the names of the of all the cards. I recognize that a lot of new players play this game, a lot of noobs. I uh, think there's one guy that's always in my Twitch chat. His name was something like Farfar or something. Like, you, you, I, people like this, they don't know how to read. They don't know how to read names or they don't know the card names. So, I understand. So, for all the new players out there at the end of this video, I will showcase the actual names of all these cards. So, make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. So, you guys can actually learn everything and go as it goes along. This is an advanced video. I have a video on how to FTK for noobs. If you guys want to go check that out, I posted it two days ago. This video is a little bit higher skill class where I'm playing through Maxi and Nibiru. Maxi and Nibiru. My hand's not my hand's average too. My hand's not that wild. It's pretty average. So like you never really actually want to open instant fusion because you always get it from Freddy Anaconda. So here my opponent maxis me. He sees two scales and maxis. Alright. So now that we know run to maxi, we don't care. We don't care. The game plan is to FTK. I don't care if my opponent has 20 cards in his hat. What do you care if you have 20 cards in hand it, do it, does it doesn't matter you're ftking him so the only thing that matters is the hand traps that he draws most likely he could draw some hand traps off of it but it doesn't matter because via the toggle skill we're gonna learn how to do it and we're gonna try and appalooza pre uh pre that anyways so here we're gonna put up astrograph we're gonna get up a lot of value here we're gonna normal summon we're gonna make electromite this is the game plan this is the game plan you make electromite baby you you stick to the game plan you make your electromite and you get your astrograph we open astrograph here so we'll just use it again we'll just use it again we're gonna special out the sasa guy we're letting our opponent draw all he wants we are not scared so what we're gonna do we're gonna get free value here and now i'm gonna do a very cool play here to play around nibiru so this is a pretty pro play here so pay close attention if you guys are new or not new it doesn't matter it's all very easy to pay close stop so stop look at this all right everyone look at this now so i summon asagraf is gonna add me wisdom mine the fact that double ice is gonna be a sort pendulum graph and look i don't care about maxi he has eight cards in his hand seven cards in his hand seven cards in his hand seven cards in his hand do you really think that out of these seven cards is a nibiru do you think so i hope so i hope he has a nibiru because if he doesn't have a nibiru this is gonna be a very long day for my opponent sasa who's about to get sasa clap so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna activate instant fusion well, i'm gonna activate start pressure first i'm gonna get some value i'm gonna draw a card there first so i draw time pen graph time pen graph is not a card that could help me here this is not a card that could help me here but i don't care i'm gonna activate instant fusion now this is where i hit him i'm at four summons instant fusion my fifth summon instant fusion will be my fifth summon at this this point if i see a toggle right after this instant fusion i know he has nibiru so I activate instant fusion you ready for this at this point he doesn't have valor because something would have come up a toggle would have come up he does not have valor imprint at this point i summon nightingale this is my fourth card i'm gonna link them all on top of nibiru this is the fifth summon on the fifth summon i got nibiru if he does not nibiru me here i go straight into a three material appalooza i know now we got nibiru do you guys think i could still ftk through nibiru look at my head i only have two cards in hand two monsters in my hand right i only have two monsters in my hand can i can i still Still FTK here, guys. Can I still FTK? Do you guys think I can still FTK? Did I just lie in the title and say FTK through Nib and Max? Like, do you guys think I still have an FTK here? Well, very simply, actually, Lyrilus Nightingale is unaffected by all effects, so it does not is not affected by Nibiru, which is fine. Electromite and my card leaves. But he he still did the Nibiru at the perfect play because if he did not Nibiru there, I was gonna Appalooza. At this point, I'm going to scale. I'm going to activate Star Pendulum Graph. I'm gonna get a bunch of value here, so I Pendulum is gonna search me a Dark. At this point, we still got no toggle from Vela or. 
Imperm. And guess what, guys? Guess what? We already have Nightingale. I activated it. He no Valor Imperm. All right, all right. So that means we only have to play through two more possible Valors left. He cannot Imperm me because now he has a monster in the field. So the only cards in Yu-Gi-Oh to save his ass right now are two Valors, and he only has two draws to do it. So I go Starring Venom. I'm going to burn for 4,000. I get no response here from him. I'm going to have one last attempt here. Does he have the last draw? Is it a Valor? Fuck no. Get out of here. Fuck no. Go for broke. I'm Eminem. Sorry, that's my Eminem remix. remix. And um, let's just say that uh, I should definitely stick to pendulums and not rap. But there we go. FTK, 8K to the dome, under Maxi, under Nibiru. It really is just not enough. It's just not enough. So now I'm going to show you guys. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck profile of this pendulum FTK through Max and Nibiru. This is the deck list. One Dragon Pit, three Performer Pendulum Sorcerer, three Wizard of Mind Magician, three Performer Boss Skullcrobat, two Harmonizing Magician, one Double Iris, two Black Fang, two Purple Poison. As I mentioned in my last video, you need to play double Black Fang, double Purple Poison because of Astrograph. It's the game plan, baby. What, what does my tattoo say? Read it closely. Read it closely. What's it say? Stick to the game plan, baby. That's it. And the game plan is you make Electromite and then you make Astrograph. That is the game plan. So if you want to resolve Astrograph as much as you possibly want, you need to resolve, you need to build out doubles of Black Fang and Poison because these are the cards you want to pop. I wish Double Iris is at two, but it's not. Since it's not at two, you're going to need something to pop. You cannot play part of Desires in this deck because you cannot FTK and you cannot Astrograph Sorcerer. You'll Desires all your Wisdom Eyes away, your Black Fangs, your Poison. Desires is not good in an Astrograph Turbo deck how it is now with, with it at one and with everything else at one if you banish this infusion you have no ftk triple allure triple instant fusion uh sorry triple into the void triple allure triple pen call triple loose alliance one star pen graph one time pen graph a uh, beautiful thing about this deck is if you draw a very awkward hand or if they hand trap you while you draw an awkward hand and you're not able to ftk your hands are still good you're still playing a pendulum deck in fact funny story when the, the biggest of bricks in this deck uh, uh, com in combination with getting hand trap is you're putting up the best board that tri brigade puts up for your shittiest board like the best board tri brigade puts up is appalooza revolt and like a hand trap that's like their typical best board right that's your biggest of bricks you're putting up a appalooza for three a vortex and a pen graph like this is like your biggest of bricks ever even better than what their worst board is or what their best board is so don't feel bad if you can't put up an ftk sometimes if you watch close enough you'll be able to learn how to do it if we just ftk here through max and nib resolving we literally had full ftk so if you think that uh we can't do it you have to uh extra deck uh lyra lusk and about nine gale as vortex dragon in two super Supreme King starting Venom, one Borlode Savage, one Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion, one number 41 Baguska. If you get Maxi, you go into Baguska, one Otis Absolute Dragon, one Hope Harbinger, number 38. This is the backup. If you cannot FTK, you loop so Supreme King starting Venom, like you're playing a pure magician deck by summoning Astrograph. Uh, you're playing three Electrums, where it's Electrum, double, double Starving Venom. Uh, you loop the Astrographs to make Vortex as well as Harbinger with the two Starving Venoms. Electromite, Heavy Metal of Electromite, Predator Pump, Red Anaconda. This is a huge combo with the two Starving Venoms to make this infusion. One Nightmare Unicorn for going second, one Celine, one Appaloosa, Apollo, Apollo USA, shout out DK and Access Code Talker. This deck is truly absolutely outstanding. I love this deck. I think that it's absolutely insane. And if you want to achieve some wins going first, even if you suck at Yu-Gi-Oh, there's not much skill involved. Just summon six monsters. Can you count to six? Like if you're you watching this video, can you count to six? If you can count to six, unlike Farfa, then you will very easily be able to FTK. Just put six monsters in the field. Two of them equal starting Venom. Two of them equal Verde. Two of them equal another starting Venom. To have your FTK. It is very simple. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers, so make sure to smash the subscribe button. Also, check out the beautiful playmats on TriffGaming.com. If you guys want to get better at this game, check out the Patreon, where we do daily training, baby. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.